Okay, I wanted to just uh, shoot a real short video today. I'm working on a BHTU arm for my friend Larry, and I've got this thing pretty well done. It's all put together, cleaned up, everything's done on it, except for the knob caps have not been put, have not been put back on the knobs. And so I just want to show you how I do that in this video. So what I'll do now is I'll show you basically how I uh, how I make the little adhesive dots. Uh, and once I've shown you that, then we'll proceed with uh, installing them. Okay, I have here a sheet of uh, 3M 300 LSE uh, adhesive. This is uh, something that I picked up on Amazon. And uh, what I've done is I've cut off uh, I've cut off a piece here, just a little bit just a little bit wider than three quarters of an inch because we're going to need to punch some three quarter inch circles in here three quarter inch or 19 millimeter so uh, first thing I do is I cut off a strip then I run it through just punch out as many dots as I can get from that and what I have here is a little uh, three quarter inch slash 19 millimeter uh, hole punch circle punch also picked up through Amazon. Um, only uh, brand information I can see on it. There's a little EK right there. Other than that, I have no idea who makes this. I'm sure it's just a generic type thing. Uh, anyway, uh, this is what I use for punching these circles, and it it works to a point. The problem with this is that uh, there's adhesive. Obviously, there's, there's protective paper on both sides, but in between there, there's adhesive. That tends to gum up this cutter, and because of the way this cutter is made, you can only get to the cutter here. You can't really disassemble it to clean off any adhesive that gums it up. So you'll you'll find that if you punch very many of them, you'll get to the point where it'll just get really frustrating to use, and you'll want to throw it out and get another one. I think I'm on my second one now. But let's go ahead and punch a few circles. Now, ordinarily, this thing is uh, held closed with this little yellow slider. So if you slide that, then it pops open and it's ready to go to work. And I can already feel that this thing is gummed up inside, so I don't expect great results with it, but we'll get something. So now what you do is just slide your paper in there and visually look through that circle and make sure that you're going to be punching a full circle. Like right there, that would if I punch that right there, that wouldn't work. I want to make sure that that full exposed area is filled. Once it is, then I press it down. And there's my circle. And generally what I do when I'm working on these is I go ahead and punch out a full strip just so that I can throw the rest of it away and not have to deal with a partial strip. Just a few more to go and this strip will be done. Okay. Gonna have a fishbone left and a little pile of, adhe of adhesive dots and I think we're ready to go. Okay, these are the two dots that came off the knobs. Uh, they're black on the one side and they've got old adhesive on the other side, so they're just a little bit sticky, but they're not very sticky at all. They would not hold themselves back on there very well. Um, so what I do to start with, take a little bit of, uh, in this case, fingernail polish remover, which is acetone. Uh, just put just a little bit in an acetone safe container. And uh, drop these guys in there to soak in the solvent. And we'll give those five minutes or so to soak, and uh, at that point, then the, sol the the old solvent or the old adhesive will come right off. Okay, they've been soaking for a while. I'm not sure if it's really been a full five minutes, but it's been a few minutes anyway. I'm going to reach in and take out one of these, and uh, just put the adhesive 
down on a paper towel. And as you can see, the old adhesive is kind of peeling off of it. Still got a little bit in there. Uh, as you can see, there's still a little residue on there, so I'll put that back in there. And we'll hit it again. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Still just a little bit of residue, so back in the uh, back in the drink it goes. Now let's see if we can get that little bit of residue off. And there's the black side. And there's the other side, nice and clean, no residue. So if we do the same thing for the other one. We should be in business. Nice and clean. Okay, um, so these are the dots uh, that we've uh, made. And uh, because the uh, cutter that I have, uh, because it was kind of gummed up internally, it uh, kind of has a tendency to not cut real sharp edges. You can see this little flap there. And since there's that flap there, I'm going to use that to my advantage because that. Uh, should allow me to peel off that tape much easier. Okay, so the protective tape came off. There's adhesive on this side. Now I want to do is I want to line it up. Stick it right on that side. Press it down for a few. Okay. And the, uh, I don't know, the proper proper way according to the manufacturer to put this tape on they say take the side without take the side without the uh, printing on it in this case it's the white side peel that off first and stick it on your item and the reason they do that's because they want their logo to show so that's how I've done it in reality there's no technical reason for that but that is what their instructions say now this deal here the same thing the white paper has got a little flag on it so that helps me and it peels right off can be a little stubborn if it uh, if, if they actually do cut nice and clean. Okay, so let's press that guy on there. All right, so now we have two dots, two knob caps, two discs, whatever you want to call them, with freshly applied adhesive, and we actually have some leftovers here that I can save for the next time, and we'll put those on the scope now. So before I put anything on the scope, I want to check out the knobs and um, look at this surface right here, this little in inner surface right here, because that's where the adhesive sticks. When you put them down, it sticks to there. It doesn't really stick much to the outside area, but there is also a little step here on the outside. You want to make sure all that's clean, that there's not old adhesive or grease or whatever on there. And uh, if you clean it, do not use acetone as a solvent. Uh, alcohol is more or less safe, but not acetone. In this case, there's some stuff it's on the top, it, it's not on the step inside there, it's on the top here, so I'll probably try to clean that off before I send this back to Larry, but for now it doesn't get in the way of installing the dots. So let's do that. Okay, what I want to do now is just pick up one of these dots, and I'm just using a very fine bladed uh, flat blade screwdriver. And if you get it just right, the paper, will, the, the paper will come off and the adhesive will stay behind. That's the idea. If that doesn't work, then I guess you have to start over. Okay. And now, just drop it on there. Drop it in position and hold it there for a few seconds. That gives it, that gives the adhesive time to bite and to flow into the uh, surface imperfections and whatever and does promote better adhesion the longer you hold it down. And I'll go back later after these are both put on and I'll press them again. Okay, now we take the second one and try to tease off the uh, backing paper carefully, leaving the adhesive behind on the dot. Since that's the whole goal of this and looks like we're ready to go. Put this guy on there. And hold it down. The 
so now if you look at it you'll see there's dots there there's still that white stuff I need to take off on the outside of that knob but uh, basically they're on there they're ready to go I'll just give them a final give them a final application of pressure to uh, make sure that that adhesive doesn't come off I've had pretty good luck with these I don't think I've ever had any fall off like in, in the field or anything like that so I believe this uh, I believe this adhesive is pretty good for this application okay um, that was it just a short and sweet video just how to put those guys on there uh, these uh, these dots like I say you can buy the cutters you can buy the adhesive from Amazon uh, I do generally have them listed on eBay for sale but there's no, really no reason why you need to buy them from me you can certainly make them it's if all you want is a couple it's certainly cheaper just to buy them but if you want to get into the scope repair business then you might be able to just go ahead and invest in the in the punch and make them yourself thanks a lot Okay, just to show the end result off camera, I went out. Uh, this is the knob that was that uh, had no had no residue or debris or whatever that was on it. And uh, by comparison, I cleaned the other knob off, and uh, it's not perfect, but it looks much better. So I think this thing's going to be ready. I can ship it back to Larry, and hopefully he'll be able to get some good use out of it. Thanks for watching.